Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of the DC Collectibles New 52 Harley Quinn action figure. And online, I think they call this the Roller Derby Harley Quinn. And that's because she comes with roller skates and she's wearing a roller derby outfit. And it's really freaking awesome. And here's the back of the package or some others you can get. Uh, there's this Poison Ivy here. And this is actually my least favorite Poison Ivy costume I've ever seen. I do not like that black on there. It just I don't like that costume at all. And uh, here's Joker. I do like Joker's face here. And this body isn't bad, but I'd rather he be like in purple and green, orange, you know, his usual colors. If I ever bought that one, I'd probably paint it. But here's the picture on the side, and that's the picture that made me want to get this figure. I've seen this picture online, I'm like, that just looks amazing, it looks completely awesome. But, when you see it in person, I mean, she's looking straight on here, but something's just weird about the face. Like, the eyes aren't painted right, or the, just the cheeks, the sculpting of it, or something's just weird with the face. And here's the rest of the box, you can see it says, DC Comics Super Villains! And here's this cool silhouette picture of Harley Quinn on the side where all of her uh, little symbols, diamonds, and the star are showing. But that's a pretty cool picture. Well, let's open it up. All right, there she is opened up. And despite the face being a little odd, I am really impressed with this figure. I really like it. I really like the design of it. And uh, I really like the way they did the roller skates. They're actually, um, one of the coolest things about them is they actually do roll. Like the wheels turn and it moves really smoothly like a little Hot Wheels car or something yeah, that's pretty freaking cool that's like my favorite part of this I say <laughs> I love that and um, I really do like the design of it I like the black and red and the roller derby style to it it looks like that uh, I don't know what you call that is it like vinyl or something that type of clothes that roller derby girls wear or even like female wrestlers kind of wear that kind of thing it looks really cool and it looks really hot too looks freaking awesome I love that love the outfit not too sure how these shoulder things are attached to her I mean they had to be attached to her skin that don't really make sense but it looks cool so I'm okay with it and uh, the face isn't as bad when you see it from other angles it's kind of hard to see it's so white I don't know if it's gonna look right on camera but I think it's the paint most of all around the eyes it just looks better on the picture they just, like they made the uh, blue part of the eyes just too small or something, I don't know. Something's just not completely right. But the cheeks are a little weird. Something's just weird about the cheeks, I don't know, the sculpting of them. But it's still really cool, I really like it. And uh, another thing, it makes it look like on the package. See, it makes it look like on a package that maybe her hair is posable, the way it's sticking out like that, but it's not. You can't do that. Unless mine's just stuck or something, but it doesn't seem like it wants to stick out by itself. It just goes straight down. And I like how she has bells around her neck. That's really cool. I thought there were skulls at first. I'm like, why does she have skulls around her neck? But no, they're little bells, which makes sense for Harley Quinn. I think she's got this 5150. I don't know, is that some kind of... I guess it's some sort of roller derby thing. I don't know. But they got her little diamonds on there like Harley Quinn usually has, which is cool. I like the uh, split red and black going back and forth. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like the striped socks here and uh, different color roller skates are really awesome. I mean, there's so much cool about this figure. The design is just freaking awesome. I just love it. Um, this is probably one of my favorite Harley Quinns that I have now. Still, like, I always prefer the classic look to Harley Quinn, but still, I really love seeing all the different outfits that Harley Quinn has. Like. Most of them I like. There's a few I don't, but most of them I'd say are just really awesome. Like Harley Quinn's just a cool character. And I like that she comes with a mallet. It seems like the mallet should have a little more detail to it. It's just basically just red right here. Be nice if there's some kind of design on it or something. But maybe in the comics she didn't have one. Like I think she wore this in the comic. This is another Greg Capullo design and I'm guessing, you know, that's probably how it looked in the comic. And uh, I like the uh, belt too, it's got some bullets on it, and then she's got her gun holster, which is, the gun is removable, it's got this little rubber strap, you can take the gun out, and uh, you stick the gun in her hand, so that's cool, and uh, I like the way the skin's all white, like, um, like I know, like the Joker, like his skin is white, it's just, it's not makeup, it's just white, And but Harley Quinn puts makeup on, 
Now, I don't know if there's something different in New 52 where she act, her skin is actually really white and it's not makeup, but I assumed it was still makeup, so I guess since she put like white makeup over her entire body for this, I don't know. I haven't read anything by, from the New 52 stories, so maybe she has white skin now. I'm sure some of you know. And I do like the black and red hair. I mean, I know Harley Quinn's blonde, and uh, sometimes she dyes like the ends of her hair. In the, like in the Arkham game, she dyes the ends of her hair black and red and stuff like that. But yeah, I like it on this figure. I like the black and red hair. That looks really cool. I'd rather it be that than the blonde for this particular figure. I like the knee pads too. They're really cool. I thought she was double jointed too because of the knee pads, but no, it's just single joint. The knee pads can move though. That's cool. And she can spin there at the ankles. And uh, her legs go out to the side, which is nice. Because a lot of the uh, DC collectible figures only go out straight like that. So I like that her legs can go out to the side. That's really cool. I do kind of wish there was like a, maybe a turning joint here. So it, could, like a, so it could spin at like her thigh. But uh, there's not one. Also, I guess I'll point out the uh, roller skates pop off. They have like little like peg stand type things to go into her feet. So that's really cool. I like that. And uh, she doesn't spin at the waist. That's something I think they should have added. Like maybe a little joint there or there would have been cool. And uh, up at the sh shoulders, she moves around pretty well. Her arms are pretty good, I'd say. Like you can get the mallet in both hands, which that's something I always like. When it's a two-handed weapon, it really sucks when you can't get both hands on it. But you can with her, so that's really cool. And the head moves around pretty well. Like I said, I don't think these this hair is poseable. I thought it was, but I guess not. But yeah, it's still a pretty well poseable figure. Um, I do kind of wish there was some some sort of ankle articulation because she's got these rollerblades on and they're supposed to be flat. It just you put her in certain poses and the uh, rollerblades aren't flat, so she wouldn't be able to stand up. But here I'll give you a closer up view of her face. See, I just think her mouth is weird and her eyes, like, the mouth is a sculpting, I think. The cheek and the mouth is just a weird sculpt. But around the eyes, they just painted it weird in this one. I mean, I still like the figure overall, but that's just one little gripe I have is the way they did the face. And uh, here, just look at the rest of the body. Um, yeah, I like the socks, too. The socks are cool. I dropped one of her roller skates off. Damn it. And here's a look at the roller skates if you want to see that. Cool. Like my last Harley Quinn video, I'll do some comparison to some of the other Harley Quinn figures. And here's the uh, one from, I think it's a slash Harley Quinn. And this is more of like the classic outfit, which is really cool. I wish they'd make another new one of her, like in her classic outfit. Because this, I just think this sculpt's weird, like especially like right there. It just. That's odd. But I still do like this figure. And it's not very poseable either. I don't like that. And here's the Arkham Asylum Harley Quinn in the nurse outfit. Which is another one of my favorite Harley Quinn outfits. So that looks pretty cool together. And here's Arkham City Harley Quinn. Which is one of my least favorite figures because of her head mostly. I just hate the way her head is. But the overall outfit's alright. I do like that. And here's the Arkham Knight figure, which I do like this one. It's like a maid outfit. It's really cool. I just, I think her face looks like a cheerleader, though. That kind of bugs me, but still, it's a cool figure. Um, I don't like, like I said, and it's, they barely got her black and red on her hair. I think they could have did that a little better. But I do like this figure. The articulation is amazing on this one. I wish all the articulation this one had was on that one. That would have been cool. This is Greg Capullo designed Catwoman. And she's a little higher because of her roller skates. But yeah, they're both really cool designs. I like them. And here's Arkham Asylum Joker.
So, I really love this figure. I think it's a really, really awesome figure. I was way, I was really excited when I seen that preview picture, and uh, the face in person is not as good as the picture, but it, the rest of the body is, and the roller skates are just awesome. I, I love that the, the wheels actually turn, and you can remove them pretty easily, and when you put them on, they stay on pretty good, so... Yeah, I like it. And the articulation's good, paint's good. Articulation's not perfect, but it's still pretty good. And uh, I like her little mallet accessory. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this figure. I think it's awesome. So if you can find it, I'd say get it. Well, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and uh, thanks for watching a good pay. Yeah, it's time for my two shits. So look at this girl. She's all pale, got her, got her black and red split down on each side. What, what does she think she is, two-faced? But then... I did notice you got the wheels on your feet down there. You know, see, you got your hammer. You like to hit people with things like me. So the wheels, the hammer. I think you like it. We can get married now. Uh, I, I'm saving myself for Mr. J. Who? That, uh, who the hell is he? I don't give a shit. Get over here, sugar. Ah, get your wheels! <laughs> Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh!